my channel, Mississippi Girl Gardening and Couponing and NC. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So, this video is going to be um, how I dehydrate my peppers and stuff. So, I had told you guys that I had a trick because I have, you know, the reflux and GERD and stuff like that. And I think the peppers were um, contributing to a lot of that, even though they're not hot. Um, so I have a trick with that where I can continue to use my peppers, but I mean very, very mildly. And um, very, very mildly and um, not let them go bad. So I have some peppers that is way overdue. They have to be preserved in some kind of way. But I wanted to first show you guys my dehydrator. So I've had this. I've used this maybe about yeah, maybe about three times. Um, yeah, I'm behind on stuff. Um, but I, this is not my first one. Some years back when I told you guys I was gardening when we was living on base, I had got an Oyster dehydrator. It was a round one. But I used that thing so much I was dehydrating applesauce everything making fruit roll-ups everything with it and so it went out on me so then a couple years ago hubby got me this one and it literally stayed in the closet for about two years not even being open <laughs> so i bought it out what last year i think i think i used it once this year but i'm about to get it you know rolling again so let me show you i cannot remember where exactly he got it from but it is a charred brand dehydrator um it is five trays so this is the top and that's how it looked yeah i did use it this year and stuff the parsley and stuff at the bottom um but um it has these so what i'm gonna be doing is let me show you guys the pan of stuff. It was my last harvest, and I got other stuff to harvest. Um, but y'all know I just been trying to get stuff on track. So, so these right here is what I'm gonna be harvesting. Is all of these? So I have some beans and stuff um, that I need to do. Um, the eggplant, I think they actually went bad. Yeah, they did. They had been in the refrigerator, but, you know, you can't keep eggplant that much without preserving them. But I do have a lot of peppers and stuff that's starting to, like, um, turn that I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate them and get them. They bruised up pretty much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate them. And then after I dehydrate them, I can show you guys what the next step that I'm going to be doing for preserving them um these are some llama beans in a second i'm gonna i'm gonna shell a couple llama beans so you guys can see how i shell them and they're gonna be dehydrated too so i can dry store them okay you guys so i'm back mm, the lighting is acting crazy oh i know why this may help let's see Okay, you guys, so that's a little better. So, um, these are my llama beans. So, they're not dry at all. So, I'm going to, they're still green. Um, so, I'm going to just going to be shelling them. Taking them out. These are some that kind of like start drying. But, they are pliable. You know, so you want to, I want to dry them. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. Because I have the dishwasher going. This one has started to dry a little bit. Um, but not all the way there. They got pretty big in there for the most part. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna shell these and put them. And they're tougher. The, the longer they was in there, like when they had started drying, they are really like tough to open. Oh. So and I know I don't I don't I never was able to like process llama beans good, but I know my husband eat llama beans and they don't bother him. So you know always stock up on llama beans and i can cook those i can put these in like the my rice cooker slow cooks so i can always like cook them um and then freeze them or whatever or with them being dry you know i can just vacuum seal them or i can put them in mason jars um to have them like be able to take them, transport them easily in different ways is my thing. So yeah, let me finish this and then I'll show you guys how I place them on the dehydrator. So you guys, I wanted to show you guys um, something that I'm learning because this is my first time growing these. I'm learning that more the whole looks like this like this color the bigger they are so i guess better but like the ones that the hull was still kind of like green and didn't have that much discoloration to it i noticed the peas was like well the beans was like this small and young so i know when i go and harvest them again um but well, my lighting just did something weird it's dark. What happened? Hold on, y'all. I don't know. My lighting literally went dark. Like, it was like I was sitting in the dark. Like, y'all saw that? But, um, that's how they look when they're... So, now I know the... Older the pot, the more rougher the pot is, the bigger um, and better the bean is. So, with me having reflux, I can eat all type of like stream beans and stuff like that. It don't bother me. But I do remember these um, just did not digest well. So... I'm going to be dropping more seeds for like my string beans and stuff, which I know I got to go out there and do another harvest because stuff is still growing. Stuff is still growing. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Let's see this one. This one look all old and oh, 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 it was dry. It was dry. Like the beans had started drying out. Yeah, they was drying or something. He was all old and rough looking. <laughs> so he kind of like just popped open like, like bam, I'm ready. Okay, you guys, so these are what I got from those beans was these for here and I know I got more out there but I'm just gonna go ahead and rock with this now let me tell you because some of those beans were um small once they dehydrate they will shrink and I don't want them to fall through on nothing I have you can use parchment paper this is some wax paper I'm using um let me see do I got parchment paper? Y'all, hold on. Let me see if I got some parchment. Okay, so I do got some parchment paper. I've never used wax paper in the dehydrator, but I was going to use it this time. But I don't have to, so don't use wax paper. I'm using parchment paper. So I thought I had bought some. So I am about to, I'm going to be lining my tray. 
because I don't want nothing to pop to go down. So when you dehydrate and small stuff, um, and like I've used parchment paper for years, um, for dehydrating when I was doing it, you know, a couple years back, I used parchment paper and it's just fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is. Take some parchment paper. You don't have to do this. It should work, but I'm just doing it. You can cut around it if you want to. You don't have to. I have done it and just did it. Um, you know hang all around it's fine whatever you want I'm just gonna do it for purposes of this video um, and I'm just taking my knife and just cutting this outline just to get the um, the edges where I can cut the edges off like I said you don't have to do this I'm just doing it um, So I got it, <laughs> I got it cut, and all I'm gonna do is take my beans. This lighting is really messing up my thing. I don't know why it has me so dark. They have everything in here so dark. <sighs> the trouble, the, the struggles. Of family. I just don't know why it's so dark looking and like the lights and everything is on. And there it go again. Y'all let me fix this. Okay you guys. This is probably going to be a part two to this video because my lighting is really acting crazy and I need to figure this out. So this is probably going to be part one. Um, so when I upload part two, I will put the link of part one because part one will be uploaded. Um, but look, let me show you. This is what I'm doing because I know I have some small um, beans on here. So you just want to, you know, spread them out. Try to make sure it don't matter if some are touching. But, you know, for the most part, I don't have that many. So I can, you know, put them over there. Um, like that. So I have them on there, so I'm just gonna put them on top of the dehydrator because I have more more room on there to put some of this stuff. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'll be trying to figure out ways I can um, slash time off stuff because I have so much that I be trying to do, um, and I hate that this lighting is acting up. I'm sorry, y'all, but. I don't know why I'm using my phone and I don't know why the camera is doing this it don't want to do right y'all <laughs> it don't want to do right so next um I have these banana peppers and they are starting to bruise and stuff like that so I really want to get these preserved because they are like overdue to be preserved so like I was saying though, I like to try to find easy ways, quick ways that I can get stuff done um, without sitting and cutting and all that all day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just split these down the center, get most of the seeds out, try to get all of them out. And I'm going to dehydrate these whole because, like I say, I got plans for them 
try to take off as much of the bruising as possible. Um, because I, me personally, some people you keep it on there. Me personally don't want that in my batch of stuff, of dried stuff. So, um, try to take off the part that's bruised. Um, like this. And I'm going to be placing them on my dehydrator. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tray. Now these, because they're in big pieces, like, I'm just going to lay them on a tray. Show you what I'm doing. So I have another tray and I'm just gonna lay down like that on the tray. And I'm gonna do this for all of them. Cut them tops, hands off, take out the seeds. And I did see where um, some people be dehydrating them whole. Um, especially if they have they peppers and stuff, they have like a thin wall, they will dehydrate them whole. Um, like not take the peppers and stuff out is what I, I mean, not peppers, not take the seeds and stuff out is what I mean. So some seeds may linger, that's fine. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the peppers um, and get everything on the tray, then I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, you guys, so I'm cold. It's cold out here. And I needed a couple more little things um, to go in the dehydrator. So I said, let me come out here and get some of this um, basil. So I'm going to get just a, a little bit of this basil. I think I'm just going to cut it right here. Just a little bit. I got some cilantro right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of that. Let me get my little thing. So this is going to be like, because it's so little, it's going to be like my little mixture. So my cilantro, because I'm going to dry this so I can make my own little thing. And the more you cut it, I hadn't cut it since I started from seed. The more you cut it, the more it will grow. So this is some more cilantro Yeah, so by next week, it'll probably be ready to harvest even more. Um, this is some oregano. I'm going to let that grow some more. But right now, I just want the cilantro um, to go ahead and get dehydrated. Let me look and see. Everything else is looking good. So, yeah, um, I would go out there and see what else is out there. Um, but y'all, I'm cold. Let me, let me see. So this is what we got. I gotta go wash this. Alright, you guys. So I got my, <laughs> my, um, cilantro and the little basil in. So I'm about to, I've already washed it. I just washed it like three times. Um, got scared because a spider jumped out of nowhere in the midst of me washing and he must have been in there somewhere I ain't see it so I'm just drying it it's cold I saw y'all it's cold um so I'm just drying it get some of the excess water off I wash my stuff in salt water um fill up a container or bowl or the sink 
with water put a good bit of salt in it and that's how I clean it all right so I just plug the dehydrator up so let me show you guys what I have some of the peppers I could not use because like I said I didn't get to them they was my fault and after looking at them they was badly bruised and everything else so I salvaged what I could I lost a lot but I don't plan on doing that no more can't be losing food so um I have the llama beans that I showed y'all so right on the side of the llama beans is where I'm going to place my cilantro now the cilantro I am going to be drying it on the stem like this because I mean you take it off and it shrink and it falls through and got a lot of little pieces once I get through drying it then I will it'll be brittle so it'll be easy to just do this and then I can finish what I want to finish with it so I'm just going I'm just laying some cilantro on here like this I don't want to overcrowd it because I got enough trays because I didn't have enough stuff. So I'm just going to leave my cilantro like this with on the side where the beans are. And then I'm going to get another tray. Another tray. I'm just adding parchment paper, so you don't have to, but I am. Because it helps. If, if anything fall down. Like I say, you don't have to. I'm just doing it. Just go around the edges, pull out the excess paper. You don't have to do that neither because the air will get through. It'll be fine. This is just what I'm doing. <laughs> what I like to do. Have done, you know, the whole thing. So, uh, yeah. so it don't look the prettiest, but I mean, it's fine. So I'm just continuing to lay my cilantro and anything that's got like little bad pieces or something or maybe like little deadness, I'll take that off. Um, discoloring anything. If it's not too bad, I'll leave it. But if it's, you know, obvious, then I'll take it off So. And I always inspect, even though um, I've washed it, I always inspect it for any bugs or anything. So I'm just laying my cilantro on my paper. This is my basil, a little piece of basil that I had. So, oh. It smells so good, y'all. Sweet basil. So let's see. And like I say, it's touching. It will dry. You leave it on there long enough, it will dry. You don't want to like overcrowd it because it takes it longer. But um, it's fine. I'll put the basil right there. All right, so that's how that looks. So I'm going to leave. Um, I have two, I think I'm going to have two empty trays. I'm going to leave at the bottom. I see this. Thank you.
So these are the ones that I have the peppers on. Y'all can see. So I'm just gonna space it out. I may need another tray. And as you can see, I'm not using parchment paper for these. Um, but yeah, I will need another tray. I know that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be placing these on um, this tray. Get a paper towel and run out some hot water. There's something stuck on this tray that I need to get off from when I use it. Just rinse it on the, um, hot water, something that come off. But, um, like I say, I'm going to just continue to move these around. And I don't have anything else to add. Just just, just hold it under there. That's it. Um, I don't have nothing else to add right now. I need to go out there. Um... And you want to make sure sometimes even after you wash the trays things will stick to it so when you go back you just want to make sure that you have a clean completely clean tray um i wash well my trays are able to be washed in the dishwasher so i will run a clean cycle in the dishwasher um for them well wash them in the dishwasher for them but sometimes it don't work out that way as far as you know if anything was stuck to the tray prior to the before so I just do an extra wipe if I need to and it'd be fine our base and we're good to go so like I said I used this um, not too long ago for um, I think it was some parsley and stuff that I dehydrated or whatever. Um, just to get myself back into the feel of it. So, I have that tray. And then I have this tray, which I am about to add some peppers to this tray. Because, now peppers will take a little longer. Because they have so much moisture in them. So, you have to check. Um, because some things will be ready before the peppers. That's why this video is going to end up being our part um, two. The part two is going to be once everything is dry. And then I'm going to show you guys how I process it from them being dry. So the first part of this video is what you're watching now. Um, it's me prepping everything. Getting it on a dehydrator. You saw me had to go out and get some parsley. Not parsley. Some cilantro and stuff that I needed to go ahead and cut because I hadn't cut it I don't think since I started growing that bunch from seed and so the more you cut it the more it grows so I got these let me turn y'all around to the dehydrator so there's nothing in this tray so I have peppers here then I have these peppers here and then I'm gonna do um, the beans with the cilantro as the next one there and then I'm gonna do just the cilantro and the um, the basil that was up there for that one so everything is on there you see I have a few sheets of um, the thing is um, of the parchment paper sticking out it is completely fine it ain't gonna hinder nothing so but my top down like so all right now we're going to go down here um let's see you got jerky meat fish fruits and vegetables seeds and nuts so it said fruits and vegetables need to be on 135 so I turn it on. Hundred and thirty-five. And I'm gonna start it off with um I'm gonna put it on eight hours, but I'm gonna check in between. 
But matter of fact, I put it on nine hours, and I'm gonna check in between. Um, so there we go, 135 for nine hours. But like I say, part two is gonna start this. Uh, is gonna start um this video. Well, part part one is gonna end. Part two is gonna be me going back and forth checking um everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and upload this for you guys, and then. Probably tonight sometime this should be done. It is 11.54 here um, in the morning. So, it's almost noon. So, I'm going to come back and check, check, check. And show you guys what the process is um, on this. So, like I said, this will be part one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I load a video. Also, go into the notification bell. Hit all so you can get all of my notifications. Um, yeah, and if you're not on my Instagram, go over to Mama Healthy Lifestyles. Um, I saw I had an Instacart alert. I was like, what is that? Um, so yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys be safe. Bye.